I'm a giant in my city. Oh, I'm a giant slayer. Oh, I'm, I'm just in there. God is hot me right now. Oh, because God can't put me out right now because I'm not ready. But when God gets ready to bring you out, you got the word. You got the anointing. You got the answer. You got the thing that the world needs. Oh, for the Bible says, the Bible says in verse 9 and 1, for it's touching the ministry of the saints. It is superfluous for me to write to you. In other words, the word superfluous means that it is need for the right to you concerning the something of giving. You know, the something of money is one of the most important subjects in the Bible. Why? Because money answers all. Oh, yeah. It amazes me that a whole lot of folk want a whole lot of it, uh, but Joe, they don't want to give a whole lot of it. The only way to get it is you got to give it, huh? Because when you give it, huh, God return it to you, press down, huh? Second, the government running over, he says, Shall men give unto you, huh? You ain't got to worry about it. When you give it one way, God will bring it back another way, huh? Wish I had some folk in here, huh? You got to learn to give God what belongs to Him. Stop giving God leftovers. God don't want no leftovers. God wants the first. And too many of us, we're giving God leftovers. talks about money <laughs> over 2,000 times. Huh? It talks about money more than prayer. Huh? If Jesus talked about it, then it must be important. Huh? You want to raise, you want to go over for you, learn how to give. Huh? Because what you got ain't enough to get you where you're going to get anyway. So you might as well sow it and plant it. Trust some of y'all with great stuff because you're too cheap. Yeah. You will never move in major circles because in order to move in major circles uh, and to do great things, it's going to cost you. Bishop getting, getting ready to elevate to apostleship, it's going to cost you. Come on, say amen. Why? Why does he have us on the stage just to be on there looking good? Amen. He needs us to help raise the budget to push the, uh, the kingdom forward. Uh, and when you make something happen for somebody else, God will make something happen for you. And that's the problem. It's all about you and not about somebody else. But make something happen for somebody else. Uh, and God will make something happen for you. will get promoted but they don't have the substance. There are a whole lot of people will sit on a stage but they can't raise an offering. Huh? We don't need you dancing around in the church. We need you to break down and give an offering every now and then. Yes, we sing your dance. Huh? We love your tongues. Huh? And now the tongues don't pay no bills. Huh? Tongues don't pay the mortgage. Huh? Tongues don't move the ministry forward. Huh? Somebody got to break down and give some money. Huh? And when you give it, baby, huh? God will return Turn it to you a hundredfold. Oh God, you want that scholarship? Give. Huh? You want that job? Give. Huh? You want that breakthrough? Give. Huh? You want your children saved? Give. Huh? You want protection? Give. Huh? This is the year of grace. Huh? Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, huh? favor ain't fair. Huh? Tell your neighbor that it's all over me. Huh? It's all over me. Huh? It's flowing all over me. Huh? Say yes. Huh? about three people, huh? They said, it's all over me, huh? This is my year, huh? This is my season, huh? Fresh and doing this, huh? Say yes! Say yes! 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 Yes!
But some of the greatest preachers gonna come out of the Bible with you. Now you talk to me. Some of the greatest preachers have not even arrived on the scene, huh? Because you got something in you, huh? That the world needs, huh? You got a treasure, huh? That's in this earthen vessel, huh? Ain't not in the congressmen don't have it, huh? The president don't know about it, huh? Bill Gates don't know about this, huh? You got the Holy Ghost, huh? You got God in you, huh? The hope of glory, huh? Is there anybody know what I'm talking about, huh? Hallelujah, huh? Like the brother said, huh? God gave you a $25,000 raise, huh? And that's how God do you, huh? He'll bless you, huh? When you least expect it, huh? He'll bless you, huh? When you don't deserve it, huh? They don't care right on the joke. You make joke, huh? Who's in front of me, huh? But when I get there, huh? God gonna put me, huh? In the front of the line, huh? Say yes! Say yes! 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 Yeah! Tell your neighbor, say neighbor. I'm so glad that I know who I am. Come on, say amen. Before God gave me the title, He will equip you to be there. I have some people that know what I'm talking about. So that wasn't going to be long. But the Bible says, He said, For the Lord loves a cheerful giver. And we got an attitude when oftentimes comes to the Lord to us. No, 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 no. He don't want any kind of giver. When they call oftentimes, folk ought to start jumping and running and leaving. Why? Because you got something to put in the offering. There was a time when you didn't have anything. That's right. Didn't have two niggas put together. But now you got it and you're not excited about it. God wants you to be excited because your life is in your giving. That's me at all. Most pastors don't understand this. When you're in leadership, when you serve in a district, when you serve in the man of God, when you serve in any reformation, if you're not the leader, your job is to push the leader. Come on, everybody want to be in the first seat. But real power is in what pushes the truck. Y'all ain't going to say nothing. Come on. The first seat is nothing if you don't have no gas in the car to push the vision forward. And there are a whole lot of people who are in the first seat that should be in the second seat. Oh, Jesus. I ain't never been tripping out off what nobody's going before me. Come on, say it now. Because the Bible said they can't crown him until I get there. Come on, say it now. And, and see, I'm, I, I, I'm very, I'm working on myself. So when I accept the position or accept the promotion, amen, and I'll be able to hold up the promotion that has been given to me by God. Amen. Try some people in here. Amen. What about folks want? want promotion, but they don't want commitment. God ain't interested in no committees. He's looking for the committee. Come on, say that. Does anybody here know what I'm talking about? You want a promotion, but you ain't committed. Uh, 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 can I can not talk to you a little while here. Uh, one, one's return is determined by his investment. And the greatest the investment that we all had can make is in the kingdom. Amen. Come on, say amen. amen. Oh, oh, no, I, I know you think the greatest investment you're making is in your 401k, but you may die and never use that. Come on, say amen. But the greatest investment, huh, that you can make is in the kingdom. Yeah. Because God don't pay 10 percent, you pay 30, 60, and 100 fold. Come on, say amen. Oh, I'm looking for a 100 fold blessing. I ain't looking for no hundred children, but I want a hundred souls. Come on, say it, man. So the, 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 the giver must be willing and have a sincere desire to participate in the offering. Paul was not interested in their money. He was interested in their attitude. Come on, say it, man. Uh, it ain't never about what you got. It's about how you give it. Come on, say it, man. It ain't never about what you got. It's about how you're living. Oh, y'all ain't saying nothing. Oh, y'all miss nothing, but y'all can't get 
on so forth. If you're ever going to get your breakthrough, then you got to learn the principles of God. Oh, listen, anything that go up too fast, it won't last. Amen. You got to be processed. No, 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 you got to be tested. Right. You got to be tried. Huh? Amen. Amen. Huh? It's not whether huh, a God can, can, can trust you. Well, you can trust God. Can God trust you? Amen. Come on, say amen. amen. And for much is given, Jesus, much is required. Amen. Yeah, yeah, every, every seed you sow, you got to look at seed. Like when you plant a seed, just look for it to come back. Yeah. Look for it. Look for it. Press down. Look for it shaking again. Look for it. It's, it's getting ready. To, somebody says, Get ready. It's just to run over. Get ready to run over in your house. Get ready to run over in your neighbor's house. Jesus. God, listen. Hallelujah. God want to bless you so much that when your neighbor get in trouble, you can offer them more than pray. Jesus. Yes. Let, me, let me pray for you. But here, take the check while I'm praying for you. Yes. Come on, come on. When people got a need, they don't just want prayer. Right. If a man hungry, he can't hear you and let you give him some food. Come on, say that. Stop praying for people and give them a seat. Amen. That's how you're going to witness your faith. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hey, we're a woman. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're challenged because of our mindset. It's not that other reformations have more God than us. No, they, they just catch the scripture. This part. Yeah, we struggle with all our lives. Jesus. This is why T. Jason Wu Ministry, he don't have no more better people than we got. Oh, he just got people to believe what he's telling us. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. It's more than, thank God Mother got healed. But it's more than healing to this. Come on, say man. Come on, I'm going to be able to heal and go on to the mall. Yes, 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 yes. Heal and write the check, brother. Amen. Jamaica's dependent on me. Heal. Amen. When I go to Jamaica, they treat me like I'm the governor. Because they know the man of God is coming. And they got substance in his pocket. Come on, say amen. And how many those substance will lift the burden off the poor? And the Bible says when you consider the poor, you lend it to God. Oh my God. Oh, we got we got some over here. That is a principle. When you show in the poor, God, you are lending to God. And God said, I will pay you. And how many know God got in this money to pay us in this place? That's my favorite subject, money. Because I plan on having a whole lot of it. Before I live, leave here. I plan on being able to live, leave something to the next generation. I plan on, if I go away from my wife, I don't want to have to marry Joe for no money. Not you, Joe. I would use the word Joe. I don't want to have to marry the first joker that come along. No. I want her to understand that she's been She's been taken care of. Amen. Amen. In the Bible, there was a man of God that died and didn't have no life insurance. And the creditors came to get her son. But how many know the prophet came on the scene? Oh, y'all ain't it up. Hallelujah. Listen, every generation ought to get better. Amen. Why? Because now you have access to more information. See, we have access to more than what Bishop Gerald had. Come on, say that. Our kids have access to more than what we have. It is our job to lay the foundation to give them a start to build on the foundation. But you can't give it to them without responsibility and information.